None of us wants to look older than we actually are. And of course, genetics plays a very important role in our aging process and in how we look from the outside but there are things that we can control and that we can influence. One of these points is our nutrition. There are those foods that make us age much faster, both inside and out. Even if you have excellent genetics, you can ruin them by eating the wrong foods. We look as much as we pay attention and care to our body and nutrition. 68-year-old Yasmina Rossi is a shining example of how proper nutrition can help us look and feel great. Despite her age, the woman actively leads a healthy lifestyle, works as a model, plays sports, and shares tips on nutrition and body care on her social networks. In one of her interviews, Yasmina Rossi shared a list of five products that she stopped consuming a long time ago, since it is because of these products that we age much faster. Today we will tell you about them. That's why he watches this video to the end. It will be very interesting and useful. Friends, before we start, we recommend subscribing to our channel where you will find even more useful videos about health, youth, and longevity. And also turn on the bell so as not to miss new useful releases. So, let's go. The first product to be discarded, of course, is white sugar. This refined sugar causes the most serious and obvious problems for our body. It promotes the formation of glycation end products that destroy collagen in our body. Collagen is the building material of our skin. The elasticity and condition of our skin depends on collagen. Excessive sugar consumption significantly accelerates the aging process. The best option is, of course, to completely eliminate sugar from the diet. However, if you can't give up sugar, the World Health Organization recommends limiting your intake to 25 grams per day, which is about three teaspoons. Let's move on to the next point. This is white bread. The thing is that when refined sugars combine with protein, so-called glycation end products are formed. These substances accelerate the aging process and worsen chronic diseases. Of course, I understand that uh, many of us are used to eating white bread, but it's not for nothing that nutritionists have been saying lately that not only salt and sugar are white death, but also now it's flour. White bread has a high glycemic index, which is very harmful to our body. If you really like bread, then there is good news. You can replace it with sprouted grain bread. This is the bread that does not add sugar, and it also contains antioxidants that are useful for our body. So don't get me wrong, uh, I'm not an opponent of bread. I'm an opponent of bread with added sugar. By the way, friends, there is a separate detailed video on the topic of bread on our channel. There we looked at which types of bread are dangerous for our body and which types of bread are useful on the contrary. You can find this video by clicking on the hint that appears in the upper right corner or by clicking on the link in the description below this video. We highly recommend that you watch this video later. It is very useful and interesting. So let's move on. The next item is trans fats and margarine. I decided to combine them together. There have even been some studies that have shown that those people who consume large amounts of margarine have more wrinkles. Margarine is much worse than, for example, ordinary butter because in fact, margarine is a hydrogenated oil. It is a trans fat. Everyone knows perfectly well about the harm of trans fats, only the lazy one did not talk about it. They are extremely harmful to our body. They provoke diseases of the cardiovascular system and provoke obesity and are deposited in the body and remain in it for up to 50 days and can also cause cancer. There's also one very bad combination of trans fats together with sugar. For example, why is a burger considered unhealthy food? Because it contains the points that I have already mentioned. This is white bread of unknown origin, uh, a dubious cutlet in which the meat content is often minimal. There will be a good proportion of 
trans fats, there will be a proportion of glycidyl esters, uh, and in addition to carcinogenicity and harm to the cardiovascular system, this will of course cause premature aging. Moreover, another negative property has been proven. Eating trans fats makes our skin more vulnerable to UV radiation. In general, we know that a lot of sun is not good for our skin. And if we consume trans fats, the harm increases significantly. Friends, before we continue, uh, we ask you to click on the like button and write any comment under the video. This will help promote this video and benefit even more people. Thank you for your support. So, the next product is French fries or chips or anything that is deep fried. From eating such products, we will harm many of our other organs. But since in this video we are talking about the processes of premature aging, I will still focus on this. In products that are deep fried, an exorbitant uh, amount of trans fats, glycidyl esters and free radicals are formed in oil at high temperature especially if this oil does not change for a long time. In general, it is strictly forbidden to fry twice in the same oil. But if we buy French fries or some chips, then you can be sure that the oil does not change every time. It would be too costly for these fast food outlets and, and manufacturers. As a result, a large amount of trans fats, glycidyl esters, and free radicals contained in these products have an extremely negative effect on our molecules at the DNA level, which is extremely harmful to our skin, including. Moreover, French fries and chips contain a huge amount of salt, which is also extremely harmful to our skin and causes its premature aging. It is also worth adding that due to excessive salt intake, the skin becomes wrinkled much earlier. The next point is very controversial. These are dairy products. Um, it must be said here that the researchers cannot come to a general conclusion in any way. Some studies show their absolute safety or vice versa benefits for our body. At the same time, other studies show that this is not, this is not so useful and recommends limiting dairy products. Also, at the level of personal experience, I can say that some people in my environment who have completely abandoned dairy products experience a lot of positive effects. Some chronic diseases may disappear from them, and in just a couple of weeks, the skin may begin to look healthier and younger. But for some people who refuse dairy products, no positive changes occur. So there really is no definite answer. The personal experience of people is very contradictory, and the research of specialists is also very contradictory. But nevertheless, it makes sense to try Perhaps you will be among those whose body reacts well to this. After all, we are all very individual. Here's what else you need to know about the dangers of dairy products. The fact is that when milk is produced on an industrial scale, 75% of cows are pregnant, and this is not very good because a pregnant cow secretes estrogens into milk. It is not recommended for people to consume such milk. And there is no need to hope that if you buy some high quality expensive milk in the store, then there will be no estrogens in it. In fact, a huge number of cows are on the farm and all their milk is then drained into one tank. After that, all this is mixed and therefore almost all the milk in the supermarket will contain estrogen. By the way, in this regard, there is a recommendation to consume fermented dairy products because in the production process, this negative factor is leveled and therefore it, it is preferable to use cottage cheese or cheese than fresh milk from the supermarket. But besides that, there is also such a thing as lactose. Humanity has recently domesticated a cow and therefore evolutionarily our body is not yet prepared for the normal absorption of lactose. And that's why most adults don't digest this product. When they drink milk, they experience digestive discomfort. 
in general, according to the sum of all these factors, in some people who consume dairy products, the processes of permanent microinflammation increase, and this leads to oxidative stress, which is the main cause of premature aging, both inside and outside the body. Friends, which of these foods do you eat? Or perhaps they have already been removed from their diet. Share your experience in the comments. It will be interesting for everyone to read. If you like this video, then click the like button and share the link with your friends. We also recommend that you watch these two previous videos that appeared on your screen.